Hi, I'm Tanmay. I'm the co-founder of Credits.ai. In this video, I want to talk about the block to post functionality, which has been recently enhanced. So uh, let's quickly get to the block to post functionality first. So to do that, click on the create new option or that right now button, which is shown here. I will quickly go and select the block to post option. So the way this thing works is it will help you repurpose your existing blog and convert that into a long video or a carousal or a video with voiceover. To start with it, what do you want is a blog which can be given as an input to the AI. So what I've done is I have just picked up one of the blogs which we have on our Redis.ai uh, website. This is how the blog uh, looks like. It basically talks about how can you um, generate more sales and more traffic for your e-commerce store. So I'll just copy this blog link from here. I will go back. I will paste the link here and click on parts. So at this point of time, what's happening is the AI is trying to figure out what the blog is about and convert that to a summary. Once a summary is generated, you will be able to edit that summary and then ask the AI to convert that summary into a carousal or a video. So while I was talking, this got generated. This on the left hand side is how my blog looks like. As you see, the AI has been able to read the blog fairly comprehensively and all of the blog contents are listed here. And on the right hand side is the summary which was generated by the AI. Now what the AI has done is it has tried to generate a title, a subtitle, a couple of slides and then a final call to action. Now there are some uh, errors what I see here. So the AI has basically made a slightly longer text than what is expected right now. These are th some things we are trying to improve on. So I will just edit and make this shorter and this is it. So if you notice, this is a fairly comprehensive summary of what the blog was trying to talk about. Uh, at this point of time, I can still choose to either add more slides or remove slides, which I do not want or I want to add. Once I'm happy with all of this, I'll click on the confirm option. Now, the way this works is, if you notice now, I have the title, the subtitle, the different slides and the call to action. All of these things are generated and set for me here. I can now go to the next steps, which is choosing what type of content do I want to convert this to. Do I want a long video or do I want a carousal? Let's say I want to generate a carousal. You could choose either of these options also. Then comes step two, which is assets. So I could, what type of assets do I want the AI to choose? I can also click on use my assets and uh, upload if there are any assets which I have or use any existing stock assets, what I want to use. Then comes the design. Once I click on design, I can choose the type of template which I want this AI to fit into. So I think I will like something on these lines. I just want to keep it, not this actually. Uh, let me say this one. This is something which I like. Okay, and once I am through this, I'll click on okay and generate. So at this point of time, the AI has now picked up all of my inputs, whatever I had given in terms of the script which was generated from the blog and um, also the other options and is trying to make a carousal for it. Uh, once this carousal is generated, I will also show you the other way in which you can transform your blogs from the basic blog to a... Okay, so while I was talking, this is what got generated. Okay, so as you see, this is fairly in point and all of those settings and options are taken care of. Let's now uh, go back to the other way which I was talking about. In this case now, what we have tried to cover is, let's say if you want the AI to only focus on a specific area of the blog and not look at the entire blog in totality. So for that, what we have done is, you can just copy a specific area. For example, let's say, let me just try to, okay. Let me just start from here, how to market an e-commerce store. I will just copy till email marketing, copy this piece, go back to the blog to post option go to content to post within this content to post now i can actually paste whatever i had copied 
this makes sure that I can only focus I mean I can ask the AI to only focus on a specific area within that block and generate so I'll just keep it as is and click on parts now the AI is going to analyze only this specific piece of content and then it will convert it into a similar format which in this case now if you see it has a title subtitle and different slides and a call to action now let me just go back i'll say carousel i'll go to design i'll click on choose a template i can choose any template which i like let me just pick this one i'll say okay uh, in the brand this time i want to select uh, the brand kit and not let it be ai chosen and generate so now basically what would happen is the AI is now uh, looking at my last inputs which was the new script which I had given to it and also the other uh, options which is such as uh, follow this specific template and use my brand details to generate in my brand colors only and once we see that output then you can also see the difference between these two type of content which got generated. The first one was more generic in nature because I think it had parsed the entire blog and then generated uh, something and the second one would be much more specific in nature because I had asked it only to uh, generate in a specific format. Uh, I hope uh, I was able to cover this. If you have any questions, please uh, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.